plaintiff, William Taylor, says the defendant is his uncle, and the two of them did a podcast together. But it fell apart after he caught the defendant hooking up with his ex, and he has the video to prove it. He's suing his uncle for breach of contract. Defendant Kwame Smalls says William has always had a smart mouth, and his mouth often gets him into trouble. Kwame admits that he hooked up with William's ex, but insists he was doing him a favor because she was no good for him. Start with you. Okay, basically, my Uncle Kwame here. Growing up, he was like the fun uncle, you know, growing up. He was cool. I'll go to him for advice on different things. Oh, uh, you know, just... Advice on girls. If I got in trouble in the neighborhood, I'll go to Kwame, ask him for advice and, uh, and whatnot. Did it work? Um, I'll give him like a good eight out of ten. <laughs> eight out of ten for school stuff. With That's girls, a B. With girls, it was like a good nine out of ten with girls. I give, I give That's him. what I'm referring to. I'm just curious. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I give him his credit. I give him his credit. Right, you got an A. A minus. Ninety is an A minus. <laughs> I think it's over three. Ninety three is an A. All right. Definitely. So yeah. So he was. He was known in the family as the crazy uncle, the crazy guy, and what? Why? What was crazy about him? All right, so like growing up, I was scared of dogs. I was super terrified of dogs. So what was Kwame's idea to get me over my fear? He put me in a room with a pit bull, locked the door, and I couldn't come out the room until I was hugging the dog, kissing oh, the dog. Oh Lord, yeah. For the, for the first ten minutes, I was, I say no. For the first thirty minutes, I was real like scared and whatnot. Petrified. <laughs> I was crying, and then about towards the end, I actually like I'm like dogs now. So I, I give him that credit, but he has like a lot of crazy different ways of crazy methods. You know, growing up, I'm, I'm from the, like, I'm from the suburbs and whatnot. Now Kwame, like, he's from the projects and what whatnot. What city? Astoria, Queens. Okay. Yeah. So all my friends and family who know him, they all say, "Oh, Kwame's funny. He's crazy. He's loud." Yo, man, I could listen to him talk all day. And then during the pandemic, I had nothing to do. I came up with an idea for both of us to bond with it. It was to do a podcast. You know? All right. Let me uh, allow him to give some background, and then we'll get to the podcast. Sir? Yeah, how you doing, Your Honor? I'm yeah, right. so, so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm his, like, favorite uncle. I was, I'm like, was like a black Superman. Like, I was like super Nick Rowe to have, you know what I mean, growing up. He looked that up to me like a black Superman. So, you know... Cause when he come to me, it's like it's like going to like a great adventures, but just you know, in the, in the projects. I'm from you know what I mean, Queen. I'm from New York, Queens, with Ravenswood projects. So now his small mouth get him into trouble. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I said, I right, look, that small mouth gonna get you in trouble, and he don't know, cause he up in the suburbs with them squares. They don't do nothing. They just gonna be probably laughing, just don't 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 play tic tac toe with him or something like that. So <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Talking about me. This play tic tac toe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Defendant Kwame Smalls is being sued by his nephew, who claims Kwame hooked up with his ex girlfriend, and he has the video to prove it. What'd you do in the game? To be a mentor, you have to have done something. Yeah, mentor, yeah. So I teach him about street smarts. Like I got my, I got street smarts. Since he's book smarts, I have a street smarts manual. So, cause he don't, he don't know. So it's, it's street smarts and book smarts in one. So he'll make reference to that. Cause he'll do like silly stuff. Like, you know, run, like he'll probably laugh when, inappropriately while people's talking or, so whatever, but his mouth is smart. I say he need to know some, cause I know Kung Fu, but I can't see. So I do the blind fool. But he could see whatever, you know what I'm saying? So whatever, basically, I did a prank on him. So I act like I act like my friends is gonna rob, rob me and him, whatever like that. Now all that, all that, all that him mouthing off. Now look, he like he 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 he, almost, he was crying and, and was calling his mother. He 25 years old and all that. You know what I'm saying? So that wasn't recent. That was, that was years ago. No, nah, I was it was it was a little quite recently, and I was surprised. A decade ago. I, so he realized with the mouth, you know that that's. So he dropped his books and lost his lessons, or did he have a bad teacher in the beginning that didn't know how to give him the real game? Just talked the game, didn't really know how to put the game down. <laughs> Tell me, something happened. Everybody I didn't gave the game to, they became king of the game in Detroit. They ran Detroit. So I don't know. You having a hard time with your guy? What's up, man? With yeah. the game, yeah, you're yeah, kicking the he, Queen's game. Yeah, he, you're talking uh, about the project and all that, but you can't give him the game. If right. you do, he drop his books. Come exactly. on, nah, exactly. you gotta be stronger than that. Right. Where you, you get study. the game from? Nah, I got it from learning off, you know, in the neighborhood. Who, who, you got him in the neighborhood? What neighborhood in Queens? Oh, right. I know all about Queens, dog. 
Yeah, project, but he just ain't been studying hard he enough. So that's, that's why he's he's failing in the street man. economics and the street streetology. He's failing, so he gotta get back. Because he got a bad more. teacher. None that's of mine that's failed. That's, that's the point I keep I trying think. to make. Why are your students of the game failing? He, he should be he rich qualified. by now. When qualified. did he start giving you the game? Since I was I bet, a teenager. Yeah, and you should be rich by now. I bet all his other students went to the penitentiary, didn't they? Yes. Come on, man. If you're going to get grade. it, game, give it. Nah, he my first student. If you're going to sell it, sell it. Nah, nah. I'm not his first student. Jail, I'm not so the first I'm student. Doing my thing. I'm doing right. I ain't never been locked up at all. So... I, he, he my first student, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, he doing all right now. He just little. Now, look, we got to come to court. Is this where it lead it? Because he don't be reading them chapters right. It helped it help me, help me stay in the street. I'm, I'm a, I got a college degree. You know what I'm saying? I, I do my, I got, I'm a massage therapist. Good. So, you know, I'm, I, I don't get in trouble, man. I don't right. get locked. So, you know, it's working just, you know, you know what I'm he need to takes it to the real world instead of the- You gotta do a better job, man. Yeah, with the silver spoon up his, I mean, in his mouth, you know what I'm saying? You gotta so, do a better job teaching, man. Probably hooked on fines, Mike. Man, you gotta get hooked on fines. What are you probably. suing him for? I'm suing him for breach of contract. For being him? <laughs> a little bit of both, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. You see what I gotta deal with? You see what I gotta deal with? No. He all right. He's funny guy, just yeah. like you said. He's very entertaining guy. I'm sure your family enjoy him uh, being around because the rest, a of bit, all, a bit. the rest of y'all squares are born, sit there, they ain't got nothing to say. Am I right or wrong? Right about that. I've <laughs> <good. laughs> got some game coming there, lighting it up. A little bit. Go ahead. All right, so I'm suing him for breach of contract. For um, what do you call it? We had a podcast that we set up, and around January, I realized the podcast was taking off. It was, now, what um, was it to be? That sounds like he oh, might the, do all right with that. Oh, what yeah. was the uh, what was the what was the concept? What were you all presenting? Okay, so the, the podcast is called Convos with Kwame, and you know, it's Kwame sitting down with a, a young lady or just a, you know a lady, and he's asking her some some sexual questions and just having fun. It's, it's all lighthearted, you know. What I mean, it gets a little freaky, more like you know. What I mean, just. You know, it's fun. It was it was real cool and whatnot. So, doing that podcast, we've been bonding and whatnot. So I said, "Yo, let's take it to the next level. Let's go get some equipment and really put all like all into it." At the time, his pockets was hurting a little bit. I guess the SSI checks wasn't coming in or whatever. So he was down on some money. So me, being the nice um, nephew that I am, I had some credit cards and I was willing to put my money up to buy all the equipment and get what us going. What profession you in? Oh, I'm a physical therapist. Oh, good. Where you at? In New York? Oh, yes. All right. You come to Queens? That's where I hang out. Oh, yeah. I'm in Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> All right. I'm going over there to Queens with uh, 50 Cent. <laughs> the Gotti brother. <laughs> Herb Gotti. <laughs> you don't know about Queens. Come on, man. I'm here talking about Queens. You don't even know the most famous residents. Oh, me? Come on, huh? Come on, you. you. Oh, me? I'm dropping oh, the oh, you know you know like this. I know you're about right. to right. no. Um, um, Irv Gotti. That's what I just Russell said. You, oh, nah. you taking the names I gave you. I just gave you. Tell them oh, 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 names I didn't give you. Oh, Donald Trump. I mean, he from Queens. There you, you know go. Know I already had that. <laughs> All right, you gave me that. And this guy named Kwame Smalls, too. All yeah. right. Yeah, I, heard, I heard about him. I heard about him. That's right. I heard about him. He's a bozo. He's a bozo. I heard about Come him. Come hang with me, man. Just man. All right. You seem like a fun guy. We had a lot of fun. Defendant Kwame Smalls is being sued by his nephew, who claims Kwame hooked up with his ex-girlfriend. And he has the video to prove it. So uh, the equipment you were on. Yes. And then, what was the agreement and how much? The agreement was that he would pay half or whatever the cost was by April 15th. So anytime I would buy a camera equipment, he was there to say, oh yeah, I want that one. I'll go and buy that. We needed a TV. He wanted the 4K. I said, okay, no problem. He went the 4K. I said, okay. I went and got the 4K TV. He wanted the tripods. We got everything we needed. So around, around April, we had a guest cancel on us, right? So Kwame gave me an idea to then to um, to invite my then it was kind of an ex, but kind of still on and off kind of girlfriend situation. You know what I mean? He he told me to invite her onto the show and let's um, let's interview her. I bring her on the show, whatnot. I had to step out, do like an errand. I actually had the video of this whole scenario that, that went down, and um, what do you call? It? I stepped out. Kwame being blind, he thinks that he goes and turn the camera off. 
But the whole time, he doesn't turn the camera off. He's hooking up with my ex kind of girlfriend. It was mine, basically. And he was hooking up with her. He, he was saying, she's sitting on his lap. They're kissing and whatnot. And he's, I'm like, and what do you call it? I saw the footage about like a week later. I'm doing like, I'm doing the edits and whatnot. I gave him a chance to admit that he did that to me. I go up to him like, yo, man, I, I saw the footage from the interview with my own, with my own, well, um, well, home girl. Oh, how'd it go? Oh, it was good. Yeah, 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 yeah it was real good. I liked it. Yo, bring her back. Bring her back. I said, oh, I said, oh, okay. What was the best part about it? Oh, no, nah, she was just so engaging. You know, you know, she was just, she was so hands on and whatnot. <laughs> I'm like, she was hands on for real. So I'm like, oh, all right. So I gave him a chance. He still doesn't admit it. I tell him, yo, I saw the footage and whatnot. And he's like, oh, man, tighten up, young buck. Come on, man. These girls, these girls for everybody, man. You getting butt hurt about that? But I'm like, you my uncle. Like, I mean, this. Uh, it's some kind of code or like, come on, man. Like, you don't mess with your nephews. Like, come on, man. Like, that's a little sleazy, but I'm like, and I mean, he, he's a he's a slime All ball. All of the above. Yeah, <laughs> he's a slime ball, but I didn't think he was that slime. Like, I mean, call him my name, but the act in my, I share your opinion that that's a little sleazy. Yeah. 25 year old nephew, 37 year old uncle, <laughs> and you take his or you sneak behind his back on his woman in the workplace that you all share on the program that you all do together. Come on. If that happened, I'll listen to you and you I got, can... I got the video of that. We could, I, oh, I put in cool. evidence. I have the evidence. The I have that. I have that. Cause you want to see the evidence. I submitted the video. I mean, we want to see the evidence. I submitted the video. I want to see the evidence, sir. I mean, was it? Like anything else you want to leave, you know? No. Uh, is it? Yes. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. So hey, combos with Kwame, check us out. <laughs> and that's it, baby. The best podcast in the world, baby. All right. Peace. I brought that TV. I brought that stuff. You see how she look at me in my eyes? My no, 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 I don't no. see that at all. Look at them. Look at them. He, look at them. He thinks he's turning TV. Look, look at them. See, look, see. look at them. I've been warning them. I've been warning them about them, man. Over there. She is coming over there, yeah. Doc. See, look, see that? She Wait, here, 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 here. On the hair and all that. What's all sure. that about? Like, what? You think I smell good or something? Or what? <laughs> So you keep saying I was. You keep saying like, what's that perf that cologne I have? Told you. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> it ain't me sucking. You mad about that? Yeah. 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 Um, he did you a favor. Exactly. So, right, That's what I'm. That convos with Kwame Cologne. That's enough. Man, man. That's the name of it. Hey. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And I've been telling him, man. I've been trying to beg him to tell him what's going on. So, see, he that should be happy. That was a woman, sir. That, that was, oh, she, that was she, She's woman. going now, but it's the principle. I believe in principle. I do, too. But yeah, the principle. If it was reversed, if it was, if it was reverse, I wouldn't have even engaged none of that. That shows the kind of man he is. See, I would have gave him a handshake. You should have definitely said... Hey, 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 nah, you my nephew's people. So no, Definitely. get back with that. Uh-uh, you his people. I don't play that. No, I don't play the cross. Nope. I'm from Queens. We don't cross each other like that. I was helping him out, because now what if he got her pregnant? That might be how to get down to Queens, up in the Bronx. He would have digged a deep hole. That's why I was... You know what I'm saying? And I, I got... You saved him. That's your defenses. You saved him. What if he had gotten her pregnant or gotten deep right. into the relationship, gotten him married, and that's the type of woman he's marrying, yeah. and it comes out later after he's had a child with her or gotten married or made her uh, something special, long-lasting in his life, and boom, then she comes at you. So you want to get that out the exactly. way. Exactly. I was just trying to weave out the, the, the you know, the, the, the bad out, you know, like weave out the fast food so he get that real organic. So why you lying about organic, it? So why, so, so why but, you hide about it? But, no, but why I, you hide I, it? But, but look, I've been telling you for You didn't so tell long. me. You never told me. I had to confront you about it. I, I had to confront you. I said, yo, yo, she be looking me in my eyes, she be flourishing. But you should have told this. me. You should have shown me before. Tell you I'm that? trying to tell you, but uh, I had to show did you. Did he ever tell you, you, you before listen. that day that she was flirting with him? He might have brought it up. Yeah. Exactly. He so I'm trying to it. tell him. But he, he I had to show him, him he better. Think, I he, thinks tell everyone, him. he thinks everyone's um, um, what are you gonna, flirting with him. He thinks the male man is flirting with him. He was right there. And he told you. He came and gave you the warning. Hey, but don't make it right, though. I agree. Defendant Kwame Smalls is being sued by his nephew who claims Kwame hooked up with his ex-girlfriend. And he has the video to prove it. How much did he fail to pay? 
2,509, was that his correct. share? To the dime, yes, correct. Sir, what do you say to that? I mean, I don't feel like I should pay him because I'm doing him a favor by, me by, by messing with his girl. I saved him way, I saved him 250, 200, 2,500 in, in child support. He would probably got down the line after- you know, Had he would have gotten down the line had he, mar had, he had a child with him. Yeah, them, you know what I'm saying? I paid, I, so I, I saved him with that. And why should I pay him if, I mean, I mean, I mean, he wouldn't even did that if I, if I, if I, if I, if I ain't realized she was a daddy. So he signed the she he got signed mad. That he wouldn't even happen. We're not talking about the woman anymore. We're talking other than the woman. Why shouldn't you have to pay? I mean, I shouldn't pay because he, he if I wouldn't did that, he wouldn't been in his feelings. We wouldn't even be here if that. So that's what I'm trying to say. So he, he in his feelings. It, this wouldn't even be going on. If that didn't, if, if I didn't show him his girl was a um, a Monica Lewinsky, Shakisha Lewinsky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Have you spoken with the young lady since? On and off. What was her explanation? Oh, I was drunk. Which makes sense. She was drunk, you know, she was drunk off my quam. It, make, it, make, it makes cologne, sense. But it makes sense because I don't think. Is it, I don't think say that, makes that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't think anybody's sober. I don't think anybody's sober. Drunk off your quam cologne. You say you don't think anybody sober will be with him? Yeah, so it makes sense. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. I can't believe that. I'm a nice looking brother. You know, I'm, I'm I mean, charming. You seen his haircut? Charisma. You seen his haircut, man? Come on. I got style. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's wearing the Bronx Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> manager. He, he like the manager at the Bronx Zoo. He look like what? Like the Bronx Zoo manager with that. <laughs> He's wearing my fifth grade tie. <laughs> I like the jacket, I like the glasses, and I like the cut. Now, the fifth grade tie, that's ahead of me. I haven't yeah, gotten around to that What about the yet. dread, too? That's like cool. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Yeah. yeah, but, uh, you know, the tie piece, that's beyond my fashion instincts at this point. If it's if that's what's in, I'll be wearing it next year. Uh, no, I'm not, not quite ready. What about my Shaka Zulu hairstyle? That's well, cool. I like it, but that's mine won't grow that long. So <laughs> I can't wear that either. I probably need the roll game or something. Huh? The roll game? That might help. <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want to do this. With no, me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just Some organic. Not even iron. Don't do this with me. Don't do this. No, no. I'm just saying. I don't want to do this to you, man. No, no, no. I'm just saying. The shirt not even iron. The shirt's like old homework. I, you won't even come out the house when I finish with you, man. They'll be laughing at you so hard. The stuff I clown you on. So I'm gonna leave you alone because I like you. You're an entertaining guy. And Damn. I like, he's right. He has charisma, he has a style, he has a lot. And I can see him having a little player in him. But um, he shouldn't have played up on your woman. Definitely. Uh, I think that was uh, kind of like he says, sleazy. $2,509. He has no legal defense to uh, paying you your money. Good luck to you. And your business started back up, your jiggaloing. Um, That's all you're trying to do in that massage business. <laughs> nah, I know nah. that. Have a good day. <laughs> Don't leave me alone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Little fun fact: about a year ago, when we made the, the promissory note, his girlfriend at the time, she's the one, the witness that signed it for us. Um, yeah, I hooked up with her about mm, about two months ago, and um, as like a little payback. So I just want to let you know that. And if you want to see the video of that, that's on OnlyFans, so you can go ahead and subscribe and see that video. Will is lame. He mad I took his girl and I did my thing.